Hi, this is Christelle Martinet with a reading for the full moon. And I just put out a scrying session that um, was um, pleasantly surprised there again at the messages that came out. So this is a um, session for a general reading. And um, what I have been feeling and hearing reading are, is a lot of tension, a lot of nervousness, a lot of uh, craziness around, just as always happens around the full moon, you know. And um, you just have to, uh, I, can't, I can't be solicitato, you know, I can't jump at all of the craziness. There's a lot of craziness out there uh, happening. And so what I'm, you know, why these messages, why I'm, scrying and reading um, is for the purpose of trying to dispel that kind of stuff. You know, there will still be crazies, but um, maybe some of the messages that come out from these readings can help. Oh. Let's start with the New Orleans Tarot, Voodoo Tarot. Ah, the magic mirror, that is my thing. All right, look. Out of four cards, out of five cards, there are four major arcana here. And um, there's just, you're getting to a point where whether we like it or not, whether we like it or not, we're being faced with, uh, a lot of us are being faced with our demons, okay. A lot of us are, in any, uh, in any case, whatever the situation, that you are being faced with a crossroads. You're at a crossroads, you have to make a decision. Okay, this is um, undoubtedly the case. Let me see if I can get some more light here. And um, give you uh, some of these. Let me see if I could put the light there. I'm having very, I'm not having very much. Um, there you go. Magic mirror. That's the incoming card. And then we have uh, Marie Level again, which has come up uh, from uh, the last reading that we did. And uh, what I'm seeing here is a lot of harmony, all right? There's a lot of harmony, interrupted harmony with decision-making, interrupted harmony with your demons being coming back to you, interrupted harmony with, um, you, with us interacting with people. Uh, and, you know, there's this... Alone time together time, alone time together time, alone time together time. It's as if you you need to battle, uh, you're having a battle between trying to find time enough to stay alone with yourself, your alone time, and at the same time, we're um, needing to interact. There's a lot of hubbub, you know, there's a lot of, you know, moving back and forth, there's a lot of Oh, swishing and swaying and just, just movement. There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of things going on. And the more you try to get your own alone time and meditate, because this time, this moon is calling on us to find uh, strength in silence. Um, the more we try and we aim toward that, the more you're going to be faced with an image of the opposite of what you're looking for. You seem to be determined to reach one goal and you're going to be faced with another scenario. You're going to be faced with something completely different from what your goals are, you know. Um, and 
what the, 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 the odd part about the reading is, is that it seems that we are very present. You know, there's very, uh, a lot of, um, um, trying to find my other deck of cards, whatever they, here they are, wherever they are, wait, there's the, here they are. Um, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of background noise, okay? There's a lot of background noise. And even though you're so determined, we are determined. You have an underlying, you have a hidden agenda. And it came out in my last reading, there was a hidden agenda. No matter what that is, no matter what that is, what I'm seeing is that uh, you're going to be faced time and again during these days with another type of decision, with another something that you don't want to face. You're going to be having to face that. It's going to be shoved in your face. And at the same time, as this occurs, you're going to try to you know, bypass what the um, what is going on by trying to interact with people in your midst and acting natural. It's a very, very odd, odd message that I'm getting. It's a very strong message. I, like I say, four out of five cards are major arcana here. There's uh, you trying to put, you know, yourself. Uh, far from the maddening crowd and at the same time coming up with you're being faced with constantly something that you're trying to put in the background let me take this uh, initiatory tarot add to that well it's a call to action you know this um this time that, uh, uh, the, the time, the, the moments, you know, as if you're going through a fun house or a mystery house, you're in a, you, 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 you're going through this, this fun house, like the, the, uh, haunted house and you're going through and every now and then things fly out, uh, out at you. And that's how I'm getting it. You're being Put your face, your face is being pushed into watching and taking stock of something that you don't want to look at. You don't want to even consider it. It's not ready. You're not ready for that. You want to put it away. You know, it's, and it keeps coming up and it keeps coming up and it keeps coming up. And it's quite interesting because that decision keeps coming up and coming up. We've got this beautiful judgment card right over that. This, you know... Uh, that that notion, the the, the uh, idea, the person that you're trying to hide away, but it's a call to action. And it's a call to look, take a hard look at what you really don't want to. This is the Ace of Wands. It's you know inviting you to take a hard look at what you really don't want to look at, and um, you know the the. Um, the movement that I'm seeing in the cards, this this swishing around, you know, this movement. You can hear it. I can, you know, it's this movement is taking on. It's about economic value and about finance. And I'm seeing that you're you're tr you're trying to do business as usual, and you have this background noise over and over whispering to you you have to look at it you have to deal with it you have to you know tend uh, you know attend to it now there's um the outgoing cards here the two outgoing cards are quite interesting because we have marie laveau and we've got the two of pentacles and it's it's almost as if there inviting you to accept a change. They're inviting you to see what you're not willing to look at, but it's inevitable change. Okay? It's inevitable change. The Two of Pentacles. It's change. I'm going to take the Vida Sibila here and um, highlight some of these cards.
Now the focus is on your taking stock. The focus is how aware you, the focus is on your awareness. Your current awareness every step of the way. And there's such a strong fiery energy in the spread concerning your current awareness. And, um, you know, it's almost as if, it's almost as if you're trying to keep your passion under wraps. You're burying it. You're burying it. And, and you're trying to um, really hide something. It's as if you're trying to hide something. You're trying to um, put it away. You don't want to see it. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'm going to look at this focus card, this hiding, this passion that you're, with a passion, you're trying to push something under the ground, your head in the sand as well, and with another side of you, you're trying, and I'm saying we, you, you just to say a collective you, are at the same time, um, thinking in the abstract as if you're trying to draw your thoughts away it's, you don't want to see something you don't want to see something but the cards are inviting us to accept inevitable change which is you know the they're shouting out at me these cards you know i can't get the words out fast enough they are shouting out at me and they're telling me that look you no matter what no matter how much you want to put that under wraps and you don't want to look at it, you're, they're inviting you to do that and accept the change. Let's take a look at this fiery passion of hiding. What is that all about? Okay. All right, there is... Um, oh, God. The, you know, it's so, it's so interesting how the Sibylla talk, but at the same time... It, it just hits you right in the face, right? We've got Casa, we've got the house there, we've got um, the precious gifts and the, and, the, and the reunion card, the meeting card, right? Now, what are these telling me? They're telling me that the house that is not a home here may be the ground, maybe the, the meeting ground, and an exchange. It's as if there is a, there is a meeting, but you never see eye to eye. It could be at a distance. This um, these three cards do also talk about a meeting of at a soul level. This could be in astral planes. This could be merely in your thoughts, but in meditative in a meditative state where you do come into contact with that spirit. So it's a house that's not your home, but it's the meeting ground where you do interact and there is a true bona fide exchange of gifts. And those gifts are also um, things that uh, you are fearful of giving up and exchanging. On both parties, this is the case. Both parties have a sense of knowing. They know that their lives will never be the same again. And that's causing a lot of fear in both of them. So let's say, let's see, let's take one step at a time here because I'm trying to unravel. Um, I'm going over the judgment card now and what we are inevitably having to face. Okay. These cards just came up before in a reading I did. The doctor, il dottore, mercante and amore. You know, there's um. You're shoveling, be shoveling. You're 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 moving between 
um, taking care of business and taking, you know, taking care of, of someone. And it has to do with strong emotional feelings. There are a lot of strong emotional feelings. And as you see, this card, these two cards are on a par. The merchant's facing Cupid. And um, it's almost as if, okay, many of you, I'm going to throw it out. There are many layers of meaning here. Um, there are sincere thoughts of uh, sharing your business with your loved one. And that is a fact. Now, there also is with the doctor. Okay, the doctor came out like that. This, there's also with the doctor who's looking the other way because you don't want to see. You don't want to see the evidence. You know, this seems to be a solution. The cards are showing it to us as a viable solution and choice for that element, that that person, that notion, that thing that you don't want to look at. Okay, I'm going to look at the outgoing cards, Marie Laveau and the two of the Nadi, the two of coins, the change. Yeah, this is causing much anxiety. It's causing much anxiety, but the cards, the Sibylla are telling us that um, embracing change will be the element of stability, indeed, and the element of success. Let me take the runes and see what they have to share with us. If I had any doubt of success, I could uh, I could put that aside, right? Um, this is, this period is not the moment for a new beginning, all right? It's not a, it, it is the moment where we are um, conceiving a new beginning, and uh, well, in truth, this moment is when we ac are about to accept the importance of a relationship and the importance for us about a relationship and the we're going to accept you know it's a, it's as if you keep your eyes wide shut open your eyes you know you accepting the um, take a hard look they're again they're saying to be look take a look go in Take a look. Deep. This is a deep, deep change underway. And we're full of fear. We can admit it. We can admit that. This is a gateway of change. Now, as um, there, there are three different conversations here, four conversations with the, um, with the um, runes. And what I'm seeing is... Uh, the runes saying to us, um, you are uh, about to go through um, quite a, a difficult time, something that you are not ex expecting. They're inviting you to, they're saying that this is the key, going through that portal is the key to understanding the importance of a relationship. Um, at the same time, they're explaining that uh, the beginning is going to be very, very rough going. Even simply that meeting ground, that uh, the uh, the meeting is going to be quite a difficult time because you're both on uh, in in your not in your house. You know, this is a metaphorical house. It's a house that's not a home. You're both. It's neutral territory, and um, but there is, you know, the grace of Lagos, Lagas. And um, what this tells us is that it's inevitable, right? There is an occurrence underway 
that is inevitable these days. We don't want to look at it. We don't want to face it. We're trying to bury it. It has to do with love and unconditional love. This can concern a family. This can concern um, lovers. This can concern partners that are coming together. But it's more than business and where business is involved, the business will involve coming together and sharing your part, your your uh, work with um, a love partner or an emotional partner, or you'll be falling in love with your partner. But there is a coming together of love and um, economic uh, worth, financial partnership, and at the same time, there's something here that we don't want to see but they're saying embrace the change embrace the change and accept the relationships as the relationship as being extremely important for you for the future it's as if they're saying swallow your pride you know i'm getting that as an overall message swallow your pride ladies and gentlemen and accept what you're trying to bury and I'm going to leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen. Who is afraid of the full moon? I'm not. Get your crystals out. Get your cards out if you're a reader. Um, anything under the moon to re-energize it. It's a great time to do that. Um, thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for all your support. And we can get through this. No problem. Bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back soon.